Well, Six Flags Over Georgia has done it. They have announced Georgia Cyclone will be closing July 30th. And of course, we coaster enthusiasts, we all know what this means. Ladies and gentlemen, Six Flags Over Georgia is getting a roller coaster by Rocky Mountain Construction. They will be RMCing Georgia Cyclone. Now, of course, has Six Flags Over Georgia announced this yet? No, but you follow the pattern. They have done this with several coasters in the Six Flags chain, and they all happen the exact same way. They all close around the same time. They start stripping off the wood track, putting in steel, and then it opens the following year. I think there shouldn't be any doubt at this point that Georgia Cyclone will become an RMC steel hybrid. Now, if you remember, I did a video about this a while ago, and I was actually on the side saying that this would not be happening. We've had a bunch of markers show up on the footers, but I was kind of on the side of saying, well, I don't know if this would be happening in 2018, but maybe 2019. I was kind of thinking that they would be getting a ground up roller coaster. So some people might ask, Taylor, are you mad that your prediction was wrong and that they're RMCing Georgia Cyclone? Of course not. This coaster will likely become the best ride in the park when it opens. I think Six Flags Over Georgia really does need like a launch coaster like I was talking about in that earlier video, but I think this is still going to be a great fit for the park. I've always thought that the Georgia Cyclone layout would lend itself to a good RMC, and frankly I thought that this should have been RMC'd well before like Roar at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom was RMC'd. So this will be the third confirmed hybrid going out next year, of course the other two being Hurler and Mean Streak. And RMC did confirm that they are working on seven projects right now, so we can assume some Raptors would be in there, maybe a ground up roller coaster. They did say one was going to Japan. So we know that this will be opening next year. Remember, Six Flags Over Georgia does like to open up their roller coasters around Memorial Day, so expect this to open in May. Hence why it's closing a bit later than some of those other rides, like Mean Streak and Hurler already have a ton of work on it. So of course, Hurler is gonna open before this, but I think with this coaster, we're gonna be getting a Wicked Cyclone style layout. So for this video, I'm gonna be kinda doing what I did in my Knott's Berry Farm 2018 coaster video. Let's talk about some possible elements and layout with this coaster. And at the end, we'll talk about a possible name change and what that could be. So in case you're unfamiliar with this roller coaster, this has a layout very similar to the Coney Island Cyclone. It's one of those kind of copycat roller coasters. That means that it has a slanted drop, goes into several tight turns, winds around and under itself a couple of times. And actually the layout is different from the Cyclone that was at Six Flags New England. So that being said, this is not gonna be a Wicked Cyclone clone. Six Flags does like to clone roller coasters, but they aren't gonna clone an RMC. We are gonna be seeing an original layout here. I am 100% sure of that. So let's first talk about the possible new height. What RMC loves to do is they love to add and make the coaster taller than it originally is. And a lot of those coasters hover around the 100 foot limit. So Wicked Cyclone is 109 feet tall, Storm Chaser is 100 feet tall, and so is the Joker. RMC Hurler is rumored to be about 111 feet tall. And Georgia Cyclone right now is 95 feet tall. So I'm predicting that they're going to add about 15 to 20 feet to this. So I'm going to say we're probably going to be about 110 feet. I'm going to say that will be the height for Georgia Cyclone. So let's do a play by play of the ride layout and kind of talk about this so this POV is courtesy of James C go check out that POV he does a bunch of great stuff but let's use this to walk us through what the ride layout could be like so we have the straight section and then it does this turn where there's more straight sections so I think we're gonna be seeing a bunny hill here they've done this on like the Joker and Twisted Colossus so I think we'll see a bunny hill style and then it'll bank left and start going up the lift hill again I think the lift hill is gonna be steeper it'll reach about 110 feet and then we have this slanted drop right here where it banks a bit to the left and I'm kind of getting Iron Rattler vibes from here. So I think we will we'll be seeing kind of a twisted drop similar to Iron Rattlers. As for an angle of descent, Wicked Cyclone's angle of descent is about 78 degrees. A lot of those drops kind of hover around that 70 to 80 degree range. Iron Rattler's angle of descent is 81 degrees. That coaster is also significantly taller than this, but that doesn't mean that it won't be similar. So I th I'm going to say that we're probably going to have an 80 degree drop. Maybe plus or minus a few degrees, but we'll see. So of course we have that big turn. I think we're going to be seeing a Wicked Cyclone style turn here for sure. Crazy banked. And then we have this airtime hill right here. So the question is, are they going to make that an airtime hill or an inversion? I'm leaning towards the inversion side. I think they could go with a stall, or they could go with a zero G roll, or they could kind of do that Wicked Cyclone stall, where it kind of twists you in, holds you upside down, then flips you back out. Kind of more aggressively than the traditional stalls. And I think it's likely that we could be seeing that. would also be pretty cool if we saw a zero G roll there. 
So next it goes into this other turn. I think we'll be seeing kind of two bank turns here. Not one massive turn like that first one. This is gonna be kind of like what Wicked Cyclone does, where it'll bank out kind of level and then bank again, and then you fall into more of the layout. I think that would make sense. So following that, we have this other hill. I'm gonna say that this will be an airtime hill, and they're not gonna turn this into an inversion. I do think that there will be more inversions on Georgia Cyclone. I'm thinking three. That's the kind of magic number with RMC. But I don't think that they would go into the next inversion quite yet. Remember, they are gonna be doing some airtime moments on this so I'm thinking that will be an airtime hill give you some crazy ejector so we see some more turns here this is actually under the original turn I think these are gonna be some low to the ground really fast bank turns again not one massive bank turn but kind of a couple smaller ones back to back and after that I think we will be seeing a zero G roll so if you've noticed as I've been talking about these right elements it does kind of follow wicked cyclones path I think the closest RMC to compare it to Georgia cyclone will be wicked cyclone but it is going to be a different layout. And if you've ridden Wicked Cyclone, you know that that coaster is absolutely incredible. So I don't think there should be any complaints here. If this coaster is anything like Wicked Cyclone, it is going to be one heck of a ride. So I think the rest of the ride layout is pretty much self-explanatory. We're going to see a few more airtime hills, probably another inversion, maybe an outer bank turn. Those are kind of interesting. I think the most interesting part of this layout is that final turn into the brake run because it actually passes over that drop. So I'm kind of curious what that could be. I mean, they could go with just a high speed bank turn into the brake run. I think that's likely, but also, I mean, it's just kind of interesting how that winds around. And actually, one thing that you want to remember is that every RMC has had less coaster track than the original layout. So Georgia Cyclone has 2,970 feet of track. Typically, RMCs drop a few hundred of that. And I think that's just kind of by nature. They could actually follow the ride path, but just put in different elements. And just by nature, they would be shortening the track length, even though it would be taller and steeper. So I think that will be true. I mean, if you look at Wicked Cyclone, that has a track length of 3,320 feet. And if it's going to be shorter than 2,970 feet, this won't be the longest RMC. That being said, I mean, we'll have a kind of longer layout, but it's compact, very compact, actually. So it won't have as much track length as I think people realize. I mean, even Hurler has more track length than Georgia Cyclone, 3,157 feet. So just something to keep in mind. So last thing I want to talk about is going to be the name change. I think it's likely that we could be seeing the Cyclone part of the ride stick in the name, but I'm curious to see if they would drop the Georgia part because you already have some roller coasters that use the Georgia thing. In it. You have Georgia Scorcher. So with something like that, I think it could be very possible that they would drop the Georgia part of it. Now it's interesting of what they did with Wicked Cyclone is Wicked is kind of a New England slang word. And Six Flags Over Georgia being located outside of Atlanta in the south, I'm wondering if there'd be kind of a southern type theme to it. But also kind of using that Cyclone name. Almost every time Six Flags has redone one of their wooden coasters, they have stuck with that original name. With the exception being the Joker at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom, they completely dropped the Roar name. But all of the others... Twisted Colossus, Wicked Cyclone, Iron Rattler, New Texas Giant. So they could pull a Joker and just completely drop the Georgia Cyclone part of it, but I think because you have a two-word name here, Georgia and Cyclone, I think they'll probably drop one of those and then stick in something else. Maybe a slang phrase, but I think it would be interesting if they just completely dropped all of it and went with kind of like a DC character theme. I don't think that's likely. They already have a Joker-themed roller coaster and Batman and Superman, so I don't think that they're going to be doing that. But you know, I could be proven wrong. So those are kind of my thoughts on what RMC Georgia Cyclone will be like. Let me know about what you think of all this. Of course, stay tuned for more videos coming soon to Coaster Studios.